easier. Okay, and welcome everybody then to our Matrix uh, Motivation Monday meeting. I cannot flipping believe that we are halfway, over halfway through August already. It's just crazy how fast this year is going. So first of all, I've seen there's lots of brand new names on this evening, so really, really exciting to see you. And I would like to wish you a very warm welcome to the team. Uh, we have a lovely team, some fantastic leaders. We all work together and share together. And, you know, it really is a lovely team um, synergy that we do have. So, you know, you've got your upline, your crossline, your downline, everybody here to support you within the business. You know, sometimes you can't con connect with your, um, your direct sponsor in the business, but somebody is always to hand to help you. So I just want you to know that we are all here to help you and we love seeing people's success. So a bit of an agenda for tonight, just a couple of updates and just reminders for anybody that did miss the end of company webinar, just to make you aware of a few things. Uh, we're going to be doing our end of C11 recognition and then Claire's going to be sharing some fantastic um, training on online parties, getting us all ready for um, some stages that we discussed last week Zoom. Um, so we're going to be doing lots of work. We've got some fantastic training lined up over the next couple of weeks. Um, Jackie Mack will be sharing with us next week our, her fabulous training on um, Let's Go Live. We've got Danielle doing all about your Facebook groups. So, you know, lots and lots of training here to really get you the skills and the foundation and stuff ready. Uh, for when the new plan starts so you know make sure that you are plugging in to the training so let's have a look we have our 100 bp gift for some of us this will be our last 100 bp gift that we get i guess so uh, for those of us that are going as beauty consultants we will lose the option for 100 bp gifts a lovely shopper bag so every time we go shopping we can be advertising our aura flame uh, and brand and name so absolutely fabulous here Sophia the managing director uh, modeling the bag absolutely love, love it Can't we are getting a BP gift in C13 by the way sorry oh are we oh brill <laughs> yeah that's gonna be the last one they said oh fabulous like me 100 BP gifts <laughs> Right, and don't forget, guys, we've still got the linear collection uh, still available. You know, we're keeping really, really focused on this. For those of you, I know there's some of you really, really just a little bit off getting the full collection. Um, you know, a lot of you set your targets to achieve this set. And uh, I've been speaking to uh, Leslie. I'm not sure whether Leslie's joined us now. Uh, but I know she's been absolutely focused on this. And I'm going to ask her to come on in a minute and share with you how she's using the summer loyalty program and in particular those of you that have now qualified for the swedish spa set how you can use that to really push now this campaign for the linear collection so L leslie are you on the v you see it yeah yes i can yes. speak just for a minute i was just dishing up the dinner <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that Oh, it's okay. Can you just share with us some of the stuff that you've been doing with the summer loyalty? You have a, ve a really good customer base. You're always in the top 10 retailers, Leslie, but I know you've got a real focus on getting that linear collection and you've been using this as a way of increasing sales over this next campaign. So can you share that with us? Yes, I was just out today, obviously collecting catalogs and I've just got this picture on my phone. So I just showed a few customers uh, as I put their catalogues up to say, would they be interested in this? There's only so many I can order. And I've already got four um, definite sales today. So uh, I'm doing that simply because obviously, yeah, I'm, I will be just a few, you know, perhaps hundred or whatever point short of the final linear collection, that the, the case. So um, that was my, my plan to, to do that. And, um, yeah, it's worked out by us actually ordering it. We, we're actually only paying £7 for it, so that's even a better bargain. Um, and so once I get them, I'm going to do doorstep demos then, obviously, over the next couple of weeks to get those extra sales for everybody. Brilliant. Yeah, because I've done 500 BP in C9, 10 and 11 or over that, I can actually order 25 of these. 
Yeah, which is just so, amazing, isn't it? Yeah, that's where we're going to get the extra BP from. So the goal is to sell all 25 sets. I definitely will. <laughs> Fabulous. Now, obviously, not everybody's going to get 25 sets of this, but, you know, just use this uh, as a way. All you need is a picture on your phone or put it in your groups. Um, you know, you've, you've been given this as a reward. I think Danielle put in the group, it's £43 worth of products. It is, yes. So do we get that we get a discount off this as well? Yeah, yeah. So it actually yeah. came up at seven pound. Um, wow. Claire on yeah. the order. Mm -hmm. Amazing. No, so you know, even if you sell them at nine ninety five, you're getting your profit off of them as well which is just incredible, isn't it? You know, obviously you can use them for birthday gifts and for, for yourself to try the products and everything, but it is fabulous. Now, what they have said is with this, they will take whatever your least campaign was. So over C9, C10 and C11, if you did 100 BP every campaign, they take that 100 BP. So you would get five uh, sets you would be uh, able to order up to five sets of this obviously Leslie did 500 BP which is why she's getting 25 sets of this I'm not sure how many Jackie and Stephen are getting probably 100 <laughs> they've done that much uh, but if you did um, 100 BP in C9 and you only did 40 BP in C10 and then you did 100 BP in C11 they will count c10 so you would only be able to get two sets of them so whatever your lowest campaign is over the last three campaigns divide that by 20 and that's how many sets then that you will qualify for chat's going a bit mad so i'm just going to open that i'm just seeing if anybody's asking questions there it doesn't open it up for me the chat for some reason Claire, is anybody asking anything specific in the chat? It won't open the chat up for me. Did that last week. I'm just trying to read. Can anyone who isn't having a call mute themselves? All right. Why is the noise? I've just turned somebody on mute, so maybe it was before. I did. I did no. It was before. Don't worry. Okay. I'll ask my question now. I'm talking. Um, <laughs> do you need to do 20 BP every one of them campaigns to get at least one Swedish bar set, yes? Yeah. Even so if, if you, they did 9 till C10? Yeah, if they did 20 yeah. in C9, 20 in C10, 20 in C11, you've got one set. If you did 40, 40, 40, you've got two sets. If you did 100, 40 and 100, you've got two sets because it'll take the lowest campaign, okay? Ellen, Eve has put that she got one set at £6.65 and the other two come up at £30. Right, okay, so it might be to do with that, that, that they've took the lowest campaign. We'll have a look for you, Eva, I'll have a chat with you later and we'll check those because it, they, you, you only qualify the discount because of the BP orders that you've put in in the last three campaigns. I'll have a chat with you later, lovey. So Katie said, I've definitely hit 100 BP minimum in all the campaigns, but it would only let me order four at reduced price. Okay, might need a, a call to the service centre. We've been told that certainly we've asked on, on the case where Leslie is, where she's got 500, 500, 500. They've confirmed to me that she would get 25 sets. So just make sure that every single campaign was over 100 BP. So if it was slightly less on one of them, then you're not going to qualify for all five sets. Okay, I'm, ass I'm assuming this, I don't know why it's not showing the chat anymore. Um, okay, so I hope that's clear for everybody, but you know, this is, this is a way you can use these as a way of getting sales. They're a fabulous set and you know, it's a bargain when you think it's £43. So, so do be using those. Another incentive that they've run is the tender care and the mascara. The tender care, if in this campaign, so within C12, you put an order on for 20 BP, you can choose to add the tender care for a pound. If you order 40 BP in this campaign, you can order the tender care and the mascara a pound each, um, which is absolutely fabulous. Again, it, you know, it's about having those products to demonstrate, be with you. These are two of the top selling uh, 
uh, products that we've got. So, you know, they're really, really good products to have with you for demo purposes, for personal use. Um, also, I think, you know, we really be need to be letting our team maybe that have not been placing orders for a while, whilst we're trying to make sure that everybody's in line for the changes next campaign, we know that people need to be active. And if they've not been active for a while, this is a really good incentive to go and get them active again so that we make sure that they're carrying forward with us into the new plan. So I would definitely be using this as a little carrot for those people that have maybe gone a little bit sleepy and just wake them back up again. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to our recognition. Um, our top 10, top 10 retailers then for C11, absolutely fabulous. Through the summer months, you know, it's some people go to sleep, some customers go on holiday, but it is all about sticking to that plan, doing your activity and keeping growing your business. You know, Jackie and Stephen lead the way each and every campaign. They don't take their foot off the pedal at all. Um, they're out blanket dropping. We've got the she Jackie is the queen of lives, you know, always thinking outside the box. So, you know, absolutely fabulous, Jackie and Stephen. I know they've just had their uh, Virgin Day uh, sales award uh, pro program as well for the amount of sales that they've produced over the year to date. Over 9,000 points, I think it is, isn't it? It's just phenomenal. Um, so well done, Jackie and Stephen, with 1,281 you know, and not far behind there as well. Pauline shared some fabulous, fabulous training. She's absolutely leading the way with our skincare workshops and the results are just showing. Um, absolutely fabulous. I don't know whether this is quite your best, Pauline, but, you know, that um, uh, that is just absolutely amazing. Over a thousand pounds with 1,126 in second place. In third place, Kaz and Colin, Fabulous customer base with the catalogs, you know, working with the with the little one, you know, just fabulous to see you there holding it in third place with 889.40. Leslie, who's just been sharing her tips, always maintaining that elite consultant every campaign consistently, persistently. I know she's so determined for that linear collection. It is going to be yours. Keep going, Leslie, in fourth place with 748. Jenna Clements. Hi, Jenna. I can see you. <laughs> Sometimes we can't see you, but you're third on my screen. So well done. Absolutely fabulous there. Four in fifth place. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. <laughs> she's got such, if you can't see, she's got such a big smile on her face. You should be so proud of yourself. 560 pounds and five. Uh, we're in sixth place with 471. Had a week off in Zanti. Um, We've got Den Daniel Elkin in seventh place with 470. Um, Janice Thompson. Oh, I think this is a new name in our top 10. I don't know whether Janice is on here tonight. Eighth place. Fabulous, Janice, with 453. And Chloe. And what can we say about Chloe? I love Chloe's post. You're absolutely stunning. She's so fabulous. I think Claire put a recognition post the other day in the group. She's just fabulous at demoing the product and she looks so stunning. So well done, Chloe. Absolutely leading the way. Again, in ninth place, 448. And Sylvia and Gary, well done, 10th place with 441. So absolutely amazing. Well done to all of you. Just shows, doesn't it, what is possible? Uh, you know, well done anyway to all of our top 10 retailers. And so, oh, God, I'm covering me up me results here um okay so our activations and recruits um in c11 leading the way and you know what joe has been doing whatever she can whenever she can i know she's not on tonight or i don't think she is because i know she's on holiday with the kids um you know the children have been off in the summer but she's kept momentum going with her activity you know making sure that she stays up making sure that, that she's done her to-do list every single day to keep the momentum in her business. And it's absolutely fabulous to see you leading the way, Joe, with five activations. 
And then very closely behind, we've got Bev and, Stu Bev and Paul, who won the top activations at the Momentum meeting on Saturday. So again, absolutely fabulous. Bev and Paul are very, very busy running another business, but still make sure that they fit the business in the pockets of time and then support and help activate those people and that's what's key to this it's not about bringing people in it's about that support that level of commitment that they have to the team which is just amazing and annie annie was off on holiday as well and you're still up there in third place with two activations so well done annie and stephen and jackie well done with two julie edwards with two and then we have with one activation and that mason and marie young Claire and Mark Pemberton, Pauline and Gary, and Jenna Clements. Well done, Jenna. You've been very busy with your retail and your recruiting. So well done, honey. <laughs> oh, but absolutely brilliant. Now then, the report's not giving me our welcome rewards. So I don't know whether anybody's on here that wants to do a quick shout out. Oh, why can't I see the bloody chat? Mm. Um. Claire, could you just see if anybody puts in the chat and ask them to come on? Because I can't see it. Yeah, so Sylvia first. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I just want to say massive well done to um, Vicky Ramsey for getting her second welcome reward. She's getting really consistent with her orders now, so well done to Vicky. And, um, and Natalie Gerard for getting her third welcome reward. It was a last minute dot com with her order, but yeah, she's done it. She just scraped through with that with welcome reward. So well done, Natalie, as well. Oh, brilliant. And then we've got Annie. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Chelsea for doing a welcome program to last campaign. And she's already done welcome program three this campaign. So she's absolutely on fire and it's amazing to watch. And we've got Bev. Sorry. <laughs> Just wanted to say well done to Tracy, um, Tracy Carter. She actually did her welcome program one. Uh, Tracy joined us uh, just just over two weeks ago. It's absolutely brilliant. Well done, Tracy. And also to Anita Mumford, who did a welcome program three. Um, she's actually smashing it. You know, she's been working consistent. So well done, well done to everybody, and well done to to you guys. Oh, brilliant. Annette put in the chat that she just wants to say well done to Ellen Harris for joining and hitting a welcome reward one in the same day. That's amazing. Huge well done. She's not on tonight, but she'll watch the recording. And that's it in the chat. Brilliant. I think Leslie or Sean, Sean, you've got um, a recognition for a welcome reward. Um, I certainly do. Good evening, everybody. Um, it's for Jazz Sims, who's uh, hit her third welcome reward, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, she's doing a great job. So well done, Jazz. I don't see her on here at the moment, but that's probably because she's looking after the little one. Uh, anyway, hopefully she'll see the replay. Thank you very much. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Sean. Jackie said as well. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I just had um, Anne Marie here, so just maybe to do sniff one and get the recognition done. Um, so I've got a few bits of recognition. Um, is this the last campaign, yeah? Yeah, yeah fabulous. Okay, so for campaign Thanks. 11, we have Charlene Slater, um, who did her first welcome award. So absolutely fantastic. She ordered four star tickets as well, and she's absolutely loving the products and she's doing lots of fantastic reviews as well. Um, um, a big shout out to Anne Marie Young who put through her biggest order. She did a, um, a little party at home um, the Saturday before the end of the campaign and she got £180 of her orders. Fantastic. Wow. Uh, that was a, I think she's had a, another party before, but this was the best one that she's done. And she's also had her new team member activate as well. That was Margaret Ann Cunningham. So well done to those two ladies. They've done brilliantly. Um, I've got more recognition than it's gone off the top of my head. <laughs> it's been rushed. Well, you can come back, Jackie, because we're just yeah. doing welcome rewards. So if you want to come back on in a minute, if you want to think, you can. Will do. Fabulous. Thank you. 
Bev's, Bev's got one more as well. I'm so sorry, Pamela Anderson, and she's been on Zoom tonight. I missed you, lovely. I'm so sorry. She did a welcome program one in C11, um, and she's smashing it. And she's also just um, recruited a, a team member as well. So, well, well done, Pamela. You're doing amazing. Oh, brilliant stuff. Oh. Okay, shall we move on? Okay, so any 300 clubs? Annie has got one. Yep, so this is Chelsea again. So as I say, she's absolutely smashing it. Just her second campaign, and she's already done the 300 club. She's got her eyes set on the 500 club list campaign, and she's just so, so dedicated to making sure her customers are happy and satisfied. It is unreal. She's building a Facebook group. She's mainly working with the catalogs at the minute, but she's finding ways outside the box. She's, you know, giving her mum catalogs, making her take them to a pub and everything. It's just brilliant. She's determined that this is going to work and she's finding every way she can to make it work for her. I am mm. so proud of her for doing the 300 Club. Brilliant. Well done. Oh, amazing. Well done. Do you see anybody else, Claire? Mm -mm. Nope. No, nobody else. Okay. So we move to 500 Club. Yes, please. <laughs> Hi Rach. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, I just want to give a big congratulations to um Jenna Clement. Uh, she's done absolutely amazing. She she doubts herself so often about um getting her sales, but um, you know, I mean she's actually proved to herself now. She's gone out there, she has been doing catalogues um online all around her full-time job she's been feeling poorly she's actually on zoom tonight as well as you've probably seen and um, but she's currently in a hospital bed because uh, she had surgery this morning so i'm just uh, ah. more dedicated and committed to building her business it's you're not helping my bed. blood pressure at the minute <laughs> <laughs> you're in a hospital bed right now yeah, i'm having my blood pressure taken as we speak <laughs> oh my god, that is commitment for you. Yeah. Living out. Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> oh. Hi, nurses. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're recruiting them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's just doing absolutely amazing, and she won uh, our team top um, retailer as well for Campaign Eleven. So. A massive congratulations, Jenna. So proud oh, of you. Well done. Oh, well done. she can see the thumbs up. Well done, Gemma. Jenna. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks, Rach. Have we got anybody else, Claire? Mm -mm. Right. Any new elite consultants? I don't think so. No, I don't think there's any more anything. Any new thousand clubs? I don't think there is. Wasn't any, was there? None of these. Um, okay, so uh, we'll just very quickly do our magical mystery tour. Um, the Matrix group we put on at the beginning of the year, our mystery tour. As you can see here, there is lots of different criteria that you need to hit uh, to reach that goal and go on the magical mystery tour, which we haven't decided yet where we're going. <laughs> so that's why it's a magical mystery tour. Okay, so personal sales of 2,500, tick that one. Personal activations, tick that one. Annual turnover of 40,000 pound. And at some point you must hit the 5K club. Okay, it's all then based on percentage growth. So there's a calculation where we look at what you've turned over year to date uh, divided by your base figure that everybody was given at the beginning of the year. So it's been up and down each campaign. It's really exciting. It's very, very close at some levels and some steps on here. So uh, really exciting to see that. Um, so let's have a look, little look. We'll start at the bottom. We've got Kaz and Colin in 10th place with 39.92% business growth. We've got Tom and Dan in 10th place with... Um, with uh, nine, sorry, sorry, there's a message popping. Sorry. <laughs> so it totally threw me then. <laughs> yes, we will do that. <laughs> um, 
Ninth place, we've got Tom and Dan with 47.17 in eighth place. I think this is a moving up the plan. Uh, moving up, Leslie, in eighth place, 62.42. Very close to Joe Warman in seventh place with 62.87. We've got Emma Morley. Um, we will be taking that out. I don't think Emma's with the, with us anymore. So sorry about that one. Things will move up. We'll see who comes on the charts at uh, tenth next time. In fifth place, we've got Rachel and James with a massive eighty six point two eight percent business growth. Now, Rachel and James had quite a large uh, base figure, so their percentage growth is harder because it was bigger. So absolutely fantastic, Rachel and James, to see you in fifth place. Um, again, with Jackie and Stephen, you know, going into those triple figures, business growth with 111.25% business growth in fourth place. In third place, holding it, Sylvia and Gary with 100. And, oh, that's wrong, isn't it? That should be the other way around. That's not sorted it very well, has it? Sorry about this, guys. So, Jackie and Stephen, you're in third place. And Sylvia and Gary, you better pull your finger out. <laughs> 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 they've overtook you and it's not changed round right oh oh no don't want it to do that Hang on. just keeping the suspension going you know <laughs> so who's in second place we have in second place bev and paul story with 129.33 percent well done and you know what very very close we still have ooh, <laughs> Annie in first place. Annie, well done with 131.11% business growth. It's so, so close at the top of the charts. Wow. Keep pushing, guys. Um, you might don't know where we might end up. Black Hill. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to... Pause right now. I know I'm, I'm almost certain lots of you have got some shout outs. We have done the main shout outs, but because we try to limit the Zooms to about an hour, um, we're going to hold on to some of our shout outs because I really think it's important at this stage that we move on to Claire's training. Um, it's going to take about half an hour, roughly. And so keep us on target and we'll stay on and do any shout outs at the end if that's okay with everybody. Uh, let me unshare. So absolutely well done to everybody. Um, we will be squeezing lots more training in and we'll do as many shout outs as we can. Um, but because we really want to make sure everybody's totally up to speed with everything. Uh, we thought it was really important. We were talking about this. Um, Chris and Claire came over uh, for a meal last Saturday. And, you know, we, we've heard about online parties. There's some people that have done online parties, but with all of the changes that's coming, this is going to be one of the key things that really will be a game changer in your business. So really looking forward to this training. Get, you know, pads out, get your pens ready, take yourself some notes because this is just going to be absolutely flipping fantastic. Thanks, Claire. Thank you very much, Helen. Okay, so... Online Facebook parties. Now, we've all done them, or I know lots of us have done them, and I don't think any of us have used, utilised them as much as we can do. So I've been doing lots and lots of research on Facebook parties, and I've been do also doing lots of research on other businesses like us, so skincare, example, and makeup and cosmetics and perfumes and all that. And the predominant way to sell online is with Facebook parties. Some companies, their online system is 100% Facebook parties. So I don't believe we're using them to the full height. So I've done lots of research and lots of ways, which hopefully with the new plan, with what's coming with the VIP customers, we can incorporate this and this will be a great tool. Now I've put a picture here of a great book that I've got. Um, that's called Facebook Party Secrets, and there's lots of tips and hints in there. So put that on there if you are wanting to use that. Okay, so Facebook fa um, Facebook parties are a big, a big, and especially at this time of year, because guess what? Christmas is coming, believe it or not. And I know we're only in August, but guys, the minute the kids go back to school in September, all parents suddenly go, right, it's Christmas. It's next on their list. It's what they need to do. They have to get themselves organized with the shopping, everything, Christmas. 
So everything that's coming new couldn't be coming at a better time because it's the best time of year. Okay, Facebook with Christmas is the best time of year. So where do you start? Okay, so you want to start at your own profile for, for a start off. So what we're recommending that you do now, this is something that we don't normally recommend, but we're going to recommend you create yourself a business page for parties. But it's important that you remember that this is for parties. We still have our group, which is where our sales are going to be happening, where all our interaction, everything that you've been trained is going to happen. But this business page is going to be your party page. It's going to be your party hub. You can use it to connect with Instagram and things like that. It's going to be something that you can go live through as well and create your events through. Okay. So we're going to start you off with your friends and we're going to encourage everyone starts off with their own friends as regards finding them. But what we want to do is we are looking for hosts. So in the past, the way we've been doing Facebook parties has been with our friends. Yeah. So we've created an event either with our own profile or in our selling group. And we are re-inviting re every time the same people. We're inviting friends and people who've already seen our products, who see our products in our group every day, who see our stuff on our profile, who've probably seen our catalogs. And we're going over and over and showing them the same things and we're not getting the results that we want. The, the aim of this is, is to find a host and we do it to their friends, okay? So that every time you're doing a party, you are getting new people seeing your content. Now, this is a great way of, warm market is, is the best way to start, but it's also your, your host warm market as well. It's all about the trust and the friendship and the relationship that's built instantly that gets people buying, but that can also be used with the host, okay? So if the host... If they all know the host and the host trusts you, then instantly they will trust you, okay? So it's all about finding a host. So you want to advertise for hosts. That's how you're going to start off. Where are you going to advertise? On your profile, in Messenger, sending people messages, on your story, on your WhatsApp, on your Instagram, on your Snapchat, on your selling group, and in buying selling groups. Advertise everywhere. Who wants to be a host? So I'm going to give you some sample of some ideas in a minute. So for repeat parties, getting you consistent sales, it can't just be your friends. It can't just be your group members. It can't just be the same people seeing it over and over again. So go and find that host. So warm market is key again, like we said, but the host warm market is just as important. Okay, trust is the winning formula. So. As an example, ask your friends maybe this message. Okay, so most of you know I'm a consultant for Oriflame. I'm just seeing if any of you fancy getting some freebies. Message me. So you're dangling the carrot rather than saying instantly it's going to be a party. That's one way you could you could put something up on your Facebook. Or who fancies a bit of fun with an, or, an online party and get some freebies? Or who wants a free mascara? There's all kinds of ways that you can advertise this. Keep shaping it up. Asking for online party hosts, but then asking in other ways by giving something away. Using adverts, okay, that you can put out there. So it could be picture adverts. Like this one, if you could have, have an item for free, what would you choose? Get them to start commenting with different products that they like. Why not use that, that product then to get them to host a party? Well, if you, buy, if you have a party, I would consider giving you this if you get me X amount of sales. Okay, so there's all kinds of ways that we can use, use this. So some top tips when you're doing your post. Make your post social and not salesy by adding maybe a personal photograph as well. So not just the status, maybe put a picture on. So, so for example, a picture of you holding a sign, help wanted sign, or you with a product and a mascara, would you like this for free? Okay, why not include the kids? Have the kids holding help wanted signs? Even the cat could have a little thing on, whatever you want to do, okay? Take a car selfie, anything like that. And increase your reach by posting it on Instagram, Instagram first, and then pressing share onto Facebook, uh, Facebook like that. And it's a good way of increasing your Facebook reach, okay? But if you're going to post things on Facebook, you need to keep that post going. Every time you get a response, comment underneath like we mentioned before, tag the person that's commenting in the post and let them know that you'll PM them. So you're going to take it offline, but you need to be seen to be commenting on this to keep it in the news feeds. You want other people seeing that other people are interested in having a party and they will also jump on. Okay, so keep the conversation going on the post. 
but then take it away from Facebook as well with, with some engagement, okay? So the more people will see it, it'll stay in your news feeds for longer. Now, the beauty of an online party is there isn't very little prep that that host needs to do, okay? All they need to do really is get people in there, okay? Control the diary by booking a date within seven days to keep them in Keep your target for the month for a start, but also it keeps it fresh in their minds. If you've got it within seven days, the more, they're less likely to cancel on you. Okay, so save the date cards. Why not create a little picture, pic collage that you're going to send your host to send out to all their friends as well as inviting them to the event. So this is just a little save the date, reminding them that you're going to have a little party on so that they can come and have a little look. So... You've got a booking. Someone said, yes, there'll be a host. Now what are we going to do? So first of all, you need to communicate with your host. So if you're not already friends with them, make friends with them on Facebook. Okay. Say thank you and confirm a date. So go back into them with a little hi. Thanks for that. Um, asking, saying you'll have a party. When, when was you thinking? Really, we could do with it within the next seven days as I'm very busy. Okay. So then also send them a little message. Hi, Claire, I'm so excited to team up with you to host this Facebook party. We'll have some fun. I'll create an invite for you to send out to your friends before we create the event. And if you have any favorite products that you would like me to show, let me know. The host gets a free gift, I'm sure you'll love it. So that's just a sample of a message that you're gonna to send to that host then to get them excited and wanting to invite the friends and raring to go. It's important to create a report with that host, okay? So be yourself, make the host feel relaxed and have a little bit of fun as you're going back and to with them. Message your host with the message we've just, just mentioned. And then obviously send them the save the day darts, save the day cards a little bit later. Now, the reason why we're not doing this all in one go is because we want the conversation. What we don't want is for you to go and send this host one great big, copy and paste message blurb all to them where they're like oh what's all this all about too much information we need to be social we need to build that rapport so it's got to be back and to back and to the same way you do with a conversation okay why not send them a message on face and a text message as well ask them for the number and and do it that way now you need to coach your hostess ready okay and it's important to make sure that they know you know what you want of them Okay, so give them a template message what they're going to send to their friends. Okay, so they want to contact people and then when they get them to come on, so send them that so that they don't have to think of what to do. Get them to text people. Okay, offer them things like the first person to place an order gets a free gift. There's going to be lots of fun and games on the night, or there's going to be a prize draw for the first 10 people um, that join the live video, things like that. There's lots of things that you can send out. These are just examples. Now, I have created this group. Now, we, we do have an online parties group, but for one, I couldn't find it. And for two, I wanted it to be specific with things that we're doing, tying in with our group, with messages and templates I'm putting in. So as you can see, there is one member in there, me. So I will add everyone after this. And after, it's only a small group that is going to have a step-by-step -step guide of how to host a party, literally post this, now do this, now do that, now send this. So everything, everyone, brand new person, can come in and host a party, okay? Everything is done there for them. So when I've talked about sending out the cards, sending out the message templates, all that is in there. Now a tip, if the hostess doesn't reply, this could be a sign that the party's not going ahead, okay? This could be a sign that they've gone off the radar, Double book yourself, book another one in, wait, don't chase them, keep going and finding more because the chances are they might not be interested. A good way to make a person make it personal is to take the phone number and take it off of Facebook. Now Facebook is great and Messenger is great, but when someone gets a text message, it actually feels more personal. So if they're happy to give you their number, then great. And if you take it off there, they do like that. Now it's important to create an event that people actually want to join and go to, okay? Mm. So start by stepping into the host's shoes and ask to yourself, why do I care? Okay, why do I want to... Um, sorry, I just got distracted by that there. Why do I want to um, go to this group? Why do I want to have an event? So think about it. Think about what would interest you. 
think about why you would want to join it, okay? So what is it also that's going to make someone click that they're going? So you're going to get an invite to go to this event. We all get lots of invites to go to events. Why click that you're going to the event? Try and make it stand out a little bit more. Try and make it more appealing to others at all times. So imagine your events page is your shop window. What is going to make you go in? It's, it's important that the minute they click, it's interesting. So remember, like we said before in induction, the two things that stop people in the news feeds are you and the wow factor. Why not incorporate that into your event window? So here's an example of one of the um, event pictures we could have. It's a picture of me with my product for my party and a picture of a, of a wow factor with the Mundalash mascara. Okay, so it's just a little bit of something. Be creative while you're doing it. You know, have a pamper night and treat yourself all from home. Little things like that. Showing the simplicity of being on your phone and showing the products. A picture is worth a thousand words, so make it look special and attractive. Try different ways till it jumps out and stands out at you, okay? Until you just love it. Use different apps. There's lots of things like the Pic Collage, the Pic Monkey Fast. There's loads of ways that you can do this to make your, your picture look really attractive. So they don't care about the logos and the website links. All they care about is how it makes them feel. Do they look at that picture and think, wow, this looks really, really nice. I like the look of this. This is something I want to join. Does it make their life easier? Are you showing them products that they want to buy and that would, they would like? Is it something that's going to make them look beautiful and feel good? So if it is, show me a picture of that. Be creative. Find ways of, of showing that out there. Now, you want to create a party name. So I'll give you some examples and do's and don'ts. So don't do something like close our flame party, Amy's Facebook party, Zoe's Christmas party. They're boring. They're like typical. They are not appealing to someone to want to join. So why not have something like um, must have Christmas gifts? That could be like, ooh, that sounds interesting. Your new makeover. Christmas is coming. Are you ready yet? Feel good, look good sale. Okay, different things that's appealing that makes people interested. So, tips for making your name. Keep it short so people can see it on the phone, yeah, because sometimes it can shrink in. There's a, there's a really good website called BuzzFeed. You can get suggestions for party names. So if you go in there, have a little play about and see what you can find. Now, in your party, there's going to be an about section in the events. So you need to make sure you're putting some things in there about what's going on. But speak in your own voice. Don't sound too salesy. Don't make it too, you know, corporate and constructive. It needs to be a real person. So try something like, hi, I'm Claire, hosting the party with Sam. We're so excited that you're here. And if you're ready, we're going to show you some the instructions. Okay, highlight the special offers that you have on and ask them to invite their friends to. And remember to create a need and a want. Okay, why are they coming? What is it that's interesting? So again, the about section is just as important as the picture and the name. And make it fun. You know, you can get your bit emoji where it's got pictures of where you can create a mini you and things like that. Have some gifts in there and um, use all the different emojis. There's all different ways. Make it fun. Create excitement building up to the party. So posting in the event before the party's actually started creating that excitement getting people ready keep tempting them with sneaky peeks maybe of what you've got coming and get them to invite their friends posting the link into the catalog when events are launched it gives people a chance to have orders ready okay so if the catalog links there they can have a flick through at their leisure and they could have stuff built up ready for you Make sure you've got a picture of the latest catalogue. Again, you can always find these on Instagram. They always put the latest one on there. So put a nice, attractive picture on there. And then you're going to start your party. Okay. Now, to get the most out of the guests and to really introduce yourself and build your reputation straight away and your trust and your report is to go live. Now, I know that lots of you may not want to go live and you might not be ready for that yet, and that's okay, but you will get the best out of it if you go live, okay? If you demonstrate a few products, introduce yourself um, and what the party's all about. It doesn't have to be a long live, but if you do that, that's definitely going to help. 
This is going to build the trust. People will buy from you then. People will book a party with you and they may even join your team. If they like and feel like they know you, then they will trust you. So you're going to build that rapport much quicker with a live video. Now, it's important to have a bit of fun. It can't just be product after product after product. There's lots of games and quizzes that we can do. We can also do watch parties into our event, which is a great way to draw attention to certain products. We could do it with video products or previous demonstrations of products you've done, previous lives you've done, whatever you want to do, even somebody else's um, live. Interaction is important, okay? So we need to be creating that. So having some quizzes, having some puzzles, again, having a bit of fun going on in there. All these interaction posts and these fun games are what's gonna keep people coming back and it's gonna help with your Facebook algorithms. You know, create some things like mystery bags, giveaways, freebies, whatever you wanna choose, competitions and things like that. Now, video demonstrations, again, if you don't want to go live, or even if you want to go live as well, I'd still recommend some f form of video demonstration. So whether that's a quick video showing you the cover of a, of a foundation, whatever you want to use, whether it's one you've used before or whether it's one someone else has used, we've got a WhatsApp group where we're often sharing videos in there. So have a little look and do that yourself. Now, we talk about in our normal groups to post reviews, it's just as important in the party. We want people, some of these people, hopefully all of these people are people that have never seen your stuff before, never been in your group before, and they need to see some trust and some evidence from them products. So using the reviews that are in the review group to share that. Showing ranges all together that create different looks. If you buy all these products, you know, so you could show this look and someone could say, I'll have it all. I have like Rachel's got here, the foundation, the mascara, the lipstick, right? I'll buy them three because I love that look. So it's set selling in, in one go. Keeping with the trends, seeing what, what's out there, seeing what can be cre created with our products. Again, you can go on Instagram, you can go on Pinterest, you can go everywhere and find lots of these images using our products. Now, beauty tips. We talked about doing this in our group. Again, it's really important that we do this within the party okay so again just throwing in a few beauty tips throwing them in something that gives them value that at least if you don't walk away with ordering something they've got some kind of value that would make them maybe come back and see again or host a party if they've got something out of it have a sale so what i would recommend is when you're posting your products have your sale maybe halfway through and before that you post full price products and then when you get to the sales section, you can then go on and post lots of products that are on discount in this catalog. And as you know, every catalog we have this. This makes them feel special. Like it's a real sales section and we can really, you know, promote the products that are, that are a good sale as well on this. Take advantage of the time of year that we're in. So whether it's Christmas, summer, Easter, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, use it at that time of year use it make sure you're promoting what's what's going on for them because people will buy for these occasions and i recommend at the end so i wouldn't necessarily be selling the skincare as such on the event as in i'm not going to just put an avage set on there and and expect a sale straight away from a photograph but put out there that you are a skincare person okay so you've got a yeah you have a girl a nail girl a hair girl i'd love to be your skincare girl have something that people that you're going to say we specialize in skincare pm me and i'll give you more information because this is a more specialist area that we don't just sell the pictures on facebook we go into more detail on this so post this at the end of your party or towards the end of your party so that people know you are that skincare person that they can come to now you always want to leave your party with a reminder you want to post a link to the catalogue again at the end. You want to ask people if they would like to book and refer a friend. You're going to ask them for a review on your new Facebook parties page. Um, ask what the favourite item was, you know, ask them to post that in there. And um, drop in there that you're always looking for people to join. There has to be a recruitment ad going in there. Advertise your selling group. Let them know that you can constantly have special offers, freebies, giveaways, beauty tips, everything they've had tonight on a daily, regular basis. 
and then obviously the, the recruiting ad, just showing. If you like what I've done tonight, could you do this on Facebook? Really simple. Would you like to earn any extra money? Pop me a message. And then at the very end, thank you for your order. Thank everybody on the group. Come off the group. When the part is ended, follow up with a thank you to your horse, talking them through step by step how you're going to do this. Now, I'm going to run my slides, but there's a couple of things. So, I, what I've done is I have done another training that I'm gearing around with the new business concept with the VIP, but I can't incorporate that yet because if you just want to go and do parties now, then we want to do it as we do now. But we can. What I would recommend, what I would encourage here is that. You are going to encourage the host that they want to try and earn £50 with the sales. Then they would sign up as a VIP customer. They would then get the free delivery and their first welcome gift that they can spend the 40 points with. Okay, so that could be the free gift. If you then want to send yourself a free gift, you can. But the free gift is going to be tied in with dirt as well if they want to. Okay, so obviously then you're going to have things like if they, if they sell a lot, they may want to be a consultant themselves and join and all of that. But if we can kind of incorporate this with, if we were to do one a campaign and you were to get your £50 sales every campaign in each party, then for a new person, that's the fast start program done. One a campaign, yeah, is that those the three that they need to get the £50 sales. One a week, they can get it in the first three weeks. So again, if we're really putting focus onto this, I don't think that, it, 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 we have enough because where we've been doing parties has been us doing parties to our people, not necessarily finding a host who are going to go to their people. Now this can really spiral on. We get someone to get a host and then they get a host and they get a host. And like I said, when you look at lots and lots of skincare companies online, they are doing this totally on parties, 100% parties. We could have a real structure with this. We could have a real setting where we can go on and we can get everybody instantly getting sales. They might not, and do you know what I think is a good thing about this? How many people do we get join us who don't have a good warm market list? They will say, I don't know anyone to buy off me. All they need to do is get someone to host a party for them now, rather than having to find all the customers themselves. And then in that party, they may well go on to find someone to host a party again. And then someone in the next party to host a party again. So this is much more structured way that we can use our warm market connection, even when we've not got a big warm market, and get the sales coming in consistently, help our new people get themselves coming in consistently. So that's it. That's me, done. Oh, that was brilliant, Claire. I mean, there's just loads of tips. You've obviously done so much research there about what's working and we know it works don't we we've seen you know becky and um there's been a few people that have you know come in and done training in the past for us and shown there's the results that they've had and their ideas that they've had so you know this is a fabulous training if you are interested in doing this it's just about sometimes stepping out your comfort zone and just doing it there is loads and loads of other trainings in the group so you can pick up tips and, you know, it's just about taking it one bite size at a time but going and doing it. I know when we were talking about this, um, it is going to be a real game changer when the VIP customer concept is launched on the 6th of September. Another thing that you mentioned when you met with us, Claire, and you didn't mention it here, but, you know, you mentioned there about the £50 order, they can become a VIP customer. But also there's the idea as well, and, and you, this is something that you shared with us when you came round, that £130 worth of sales is the £39 join-up fee. Yes, yes. In place as well. So, you know, if somebody gets £130 sales, they've got that also. They can have three of those customers split those orders for VIP customers and get the £50 bonus straight away. Yes. So, yeah. you know, we've got all all of that stuff that's going to come in. And, you know, this we're getting this out there, guys, because this is going to stand you in good ground to really hit the ground running when the new camp, the new um, pay plan comes into play. So try it now. Have a go. Just get out there mm -hmm. because, you know, the more we do anything, it's like anything, isn't it? The more we practice, the better we get, the more confident we become. So have a go now, you know, because then when we do start everything, you're going to be really, really steps ahead of everybody else with Definitely. you know everything is in place isn't it it's just really really exciting 
That's it. That's why I wanted to do it in a way that we can use it now. Yeah. And obviously, because at first I started putting in things like, now again, you can do what you want with this, but as a structure, I think we're best doing it this way. But for example, I started saying you can have 20% off, you can have this, you can have that. And then I thought, oh, hang on. If they're a VIP customer, no, they can't be paying full price. So then I had to rethink about that and revisit the slides and stuff that I had done saying they can get discounts and stuff. Because if we want this to be the VIP way, then they won't go discounts. So we're going to have to use the, the loyalty programs. We'll do loads of slides on the fact that they get points. So we could use that with the horse. The more people you get, the more points you get, the more products you get. All that sort of stuff can go in there. Um, which we can tell them about, but right now I needed to leave that out. But in the meantime, if you want to offer discount to get the sales in and you're putting the sales through yourself with local people, that's fine. But ideally you want people. So what I've done is I've set this group up and I've done step by step. So I've done like your prep work, the party and the follow up. And we've got in the things like you need to check that your host has got um, a PayPal or something like that where they can there and we will say on the night um, all payments are took through PayPal so that the horse takes the money the payment from the people up front and then the horse place the order things like that so that so that it's all done in the VIP way but it's fine for people to tweak it and adjust it if they want to but ideally we want this to be 100% online I mean want everyone getting them VIP customers um, and then getting them in our group because once they're in the group we can keep selling to them and then they just go on the link and order themselves then yeah you know, it's just going to spiral, isn't it? It's just going to be about starting that, starting now and watching the compound effect happen, you know, with, with this, isn't it, really? So just a few things I know we've been mentioned in the past when we've done online parties about Facebook jail. Um, you know, you've covered loads of stuff in there. Sometimes it helps to have a bit of a backup account as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, they're saying, yeah, but now they're saying so. We've always said, yeah, have a backup account, but now Pam Kent's telling us if you have a backup account, it causes a ban. So oh, they're okay. Telling, they're telling you not to have two now. So that's why I took that out, because she was like, no, no, if you'd have two, it's encouraging getting a ban. So I don't know on that one. <laughs> okay, we'll have to maybe trial and test that one then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I might, if I was to do one, I might use Andy's account and my, I just have Andy's account as a backup or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean for when you're posting in the event? Yeah. Ah, okay, I get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, cause, um, yeah, we have had people in the past who've had restrictions if you post too fast. Yeah. So again, I suppose it's just watching what we post on there and um, maybe not overloading. We'll see, I've not had many people say that for a while, that they've had an event, a ban on the event. So okay. maybe maybe they've took that off now. But maybe it's good to have someone to change everything, don't have you? Someone know? as a backup, like you say, you've got Andy there as a backup or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but all really, really exciting. You know, it'd be lovely for those of you that do go away and have a go, you know, just to share some results and show everybody else, you know, the results that you're getting, because that always builds the excitement and people want to have a go. It's for like, me, this is how I am totally 100 percent gonna put my focus to find my sales this and skincare subscriptions. So for me personally, um, as, a, as a director, I've got to do 400 BP. So this is how I'm gonna get that. I am literally gonna just find hosts. I'm gonna do as many as I can. I'm gonna try and do one every Sunday night, um, have that as my host each week, have a target, that I find a host for Sunday night, for Sunday night, for Sunday night. And then I know that over time that that will build that up because I know I've only got so many warm market that will buy. And I know that buying selling groups don't, for this type of product, don't necessarily get you the instant sales because it's all about building that rapport. But you can do that quite quickly with an event, with a party. So I think that this is something that we can teach anyone to come in and find themselves this way online. Clay, can I just say something a minute, please? Yes. On about the restrictions. You know, if somebody is in um, Facebook jail. Yeah. And like sometimes if, you, if you're in Facebook jail for less than two weeks then you're still able to post into groups that you're admin of but if you've got a Facebook restriction of two weeks then I know that you're not allowed to post okay. in any of the groups however okay. when you are restricted you're still able to create an event in your group so that before you can still post okay so you can still do a party even on a band yes 
Ooh, oh, that's great, okay. isn't it? Because they're constantly they're constantly changing the goalposts in um, Facebook. Yeah. Constantly, it's all it always changing. So that's really good. Uh, I've not touched. Well, I'm not even saying it. I'm not saying into the bottom. <laughs> <bag. laughs> no, I only know because um, I've experienced it myself, and that's the way that I've got. I've moved forward then because I wasn't able to post into my group. I've done it through an event, and it worked. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. So, Claire, just just for my clarification, you mentioned about a Facebook page. Yes. So where would the party be? In your page or in your group? Okay, so in your page, right? Okay. But you can share from your page to places. Now, our recommendations is that you have a group, and the reason is your group gets seen more than a business page, and that's a fact. The business pages are great, and they've got some great insights you can use, and, and I look at them and I think they're fantastic, but I know that they're heavily restricted from being viewed, okay? So that's the reason why we put our total folks into a group rather than a page. However, Pages still get seen, just not as much as a group, and you can use them as a hub. So you can go live from them into places. You can create events in them. So you could get people liking the page, leaving reviews on the page. They could share the page. You could go, people can share that live if it's on a page, things like that, the events, rather than doing it in your group. So your group will be separate. Yeah. You would obviously advertise your group. Okay. So you can connect it with with Instagram. You can get a business Instagram. You can connect the two when there's a lot of people are searching and things like that. Well, you can't do it through it. You can't connect through your normal profile or a group. You can only connect through a business page. But we just want it to be a party business page or you know something like that to create that following. But then they need to be in your group as well. Right. Real. Real. Okay. Very exciting. So thank you so much for that, Claire. I know you've put a lot of lot of effort into getting all of that information together. It is really, really exciting, isn't it? And I'm really excited to start seeing everybody's results coming in from it. Um, you know, uh, but brilliant. So I'm just going to open up to some quick shout outs. We are at nine o'clock. There's just a couple of things. Um, the report that I got for activations, there was a couple of people missing. I've had a couple of messages. I do apologize. I know Leslie Whittington had two activations and Sean had one activation for some reason. There was a, a missing line that said 13 and it's not accounted for who those 13 activations were for, for some reason. So I do apologise if I've missed anybody else off of that as well. Um, also, I've got a, a message from Julie Edwards. So Julie's on here, and I promised I would do a shout out for her. For Sharon Richardson, who's already recruiting and just been in the business a very, very short time. And also, I think it's Maria Mellon. Uh, one week in the business, and she's already put orders into both campaigns. So that's I think wow. that she's already put two orders on already in, in, in you know, sort of a week. So uh, thanks for sharing that, Julie. Um, I don't know if anybody else has anything specific that they want to just share very quickly. Sylvia said yes, please. Okay, Sylvia. Okay, brilliant. I just want to give um, a couple of big shout outs. Um, firstly, to Emma France. So she's come back into the business just a couple of days and she had £423 worth of orders. <laughs> wow! Wow, well amazing. done, Emma! And no, she's on here tonight. <laughs> well done, Emma. I love yeah. hair. It yeah. really suits you. Like, Thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> good to see you back, Emma. Welcome back. Yeah, so I can't, I can't wait to see what Emma's going to do this campaign. It's, it's She's just absolutely amazing and she's, she's really buzzing with the business now. So well done, Emma. Um, yeah, I, just want to say massive well, I want to say a massive well done to Kaz and Colin. They've done nearly £900 um, retail this campaign. They're very, very close to getting the whole linear set. Woo! I want to see all them pictures when it arrives. <laughs> I know, it's absolutely amazing. And then um, just want to say a big shout out for Katie. She's done her first online party last night before all of this training. Oh. And she's got um, just over £100 worth of orders as well. So well done, Katie. Brilliant. Oh, Brilliant. Well done. Oh, you have to share some tips with us, Katie. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Next, we've got Nicola Martin. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, I am. 
Hello. Just a big shout out to Amy Lee Wally and Kerry Robinson. Um, massive thank you for attending your first ever Zoom. I'm so excited to work with you. Um, also, Robin Katie Tucker. Um, she started eight days ago, already flying with her posts and also earning herself four summer squad certificates. So well done. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, well done, Nicola. You're obviously very, very good at coaching and supporting there. Well done. Thank and you. as well. Yeah, so I just want to give a big shout out to, like, Claire. She's done a first 100 BP order today, so absolutely buzzing. She's getting all the interaction she needs, and it's starting to really build, and I'm so excited for her. And then last campaign for a full week both me and Rachel were missing because we were on holiday so I just want to give a big shout out to Jess she did something that I never thought she'd do which is she spoke on a zoom and I'm so proud of her for it because she was absolutely terrified but she did it and I'm buzzing for her and she just honestly proved to herself and everyone else that yes she can be some kind of a manager because she always kept saying that she couldn't do it and she's proved she honestly can and then he Kerry and Helen have just smashed the comfort zones. They've both started recruiting because I've seen this new pair plan and it's just so exciting. And I can't wait. The team's just exploded. Ah, oh, brilliant. And I'll second that on Jess as well. She was absolutely brilliant. She's done great last week doing shout outs for everyone and um, helping out in the chat and stuff like that. And she was brilliant. She really was. So well done, Jess. Um, Jenna? Again, Hi, Hi. Uh, I want to third that actually and thank Jess because she stepped in for me last week because I was away. Um, again, I didn't think she would go through with it and she was brilliant. Um, I just want to thank uh, so a big shout out to Kimberly McSporran who's been poorly but she's gone back to work today and already dropped off a few catalogues to her colleagues. So I'm really hoping that she'll get some orders from those. Um, Dina is just building and building and she's doing so, so well and uh, she's got her first recruit, uh, Philomena, uh, and I'm really excited for what's coming for her. And just to all my divas, Ori divas are doing so great. Uh, they're all following the programme, and I'm really hoping that they're actually going to start seeing the results soon. Oh, my God, I love that name, Ori divas. <laughs> oh, one diva, you know. I love it. <laughs> uh, okay, Rachel? Yeah, um, first of all, I just want to give a, a special shout out to Annie, Jess and Bev. They have been absolutely amazing. They have been the backbone of my business because um, I've been on all of this for two weeks, as you know, and I haven't been able to get on my phone much. And I know Bev has been helping lots of team members on a one-to-one -one level. So that's so much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I know Annie was on holidays herself for the first week of my holiday. Um, and Jess stepped in there, uh, as Annie have just recognised Sifra. And so it wasn't just like um, Team Aura amazing, but she's helped all Team Aura Gems alongside Bev as well, which I'm so thankful for. And Annie, when she came back, she just like, oh my God, she was amazing in, in both team chats and um, is, a, is a massive help and, and fully appreciative of it all. So thank you to all of you. Um, I want to give a shout out as well to the whole of Team Origins. Um, they've done absolutely amazing. There's so much duplication coming through. Everybody's so fired up, ready for the new pay plan. And oh my God, it's just super exciting to see what's to come for everybody. They're all stepping up outside their comfort zones. And it's just a pleasure to see. So massive well done, everyone. Um, congratulations to... I know I mentioned it earlier, Jenna on being our top recruit, uh, sorry, top retailer, and Bev and Paul for being our top team activations. They're just absolutely amazing and smashing it. No. Teamwork okay. makes the dream work there, hey? <laughs> well done. Love it, team working together. We've got Jackie next. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Tracy McKenna because she's, she's been um, kind of away for a couple of campaigns and not been, uh, been able to do much, but she's come back last campaign with a vengeance. Um, £260 worth of orders and a, a skincare set in there as well. Um, 
Um, and we were talking on the phone the other night, and she, I popped a, a lady into her team because she's still in, in Guernsey, the boat in Guernsey. And she's just taken to coaching this lady like a duck to water. She's been oh. looking after her so well, um, talking to her, helping her, um, giving her ideas. And it's just so lovely to see. So I wanted to give a, a big well done to Tracy McKenna for doing that. Well done, sweetheart. Oh, oh, brilliant. Well that's done. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> well done, well done. We've got Bev. I'd say a massive well done to Nicola Martin for coming on you tonight, recognising her team. So well done, Nicola. And I know is a massive, massive step out of her comfort zone. So really exciting to see her doing this for the first time. And she is, she's working amazing with her team and it's lovely to see you know she's bringing them on and um i can see nicola doing really really well because she actually recruited 13 last campaign wow. and she's she's already on i think three or four so far so she is doing amazing so well done nicola um i'd like to also say a, a big well done to pamela anderson she was on a first zoom today um, she's also started recruiting. She recruited Michelle, and then this evening, Michelle has gone to recruit her first one. So, massive well done there to Pamela, and so exciting to see that, you know, she's, she's got quite a few newbies coming through. Uh, Tracy Carter, well done. She was on her first Zoom tonight. She's also started recruiting. So, so excited to see where that's going. And um, Tracy works 50 hours a week. She's got a little girl. She's got a busy life. So, you know, it's so exciting to see that she's now stepping out of her comfort zone and, and doing this. So lovely to see you, Tracy. And I can see she's on there. So, well, you know, well done. Um, and I also want to say a massive well done to Ori Diamonds for C11. For a quiet campaign, they absolutely did amazing, and you all rock. So, well done, you guys. And let's smash it for C12. Loving the new name, Ori Diamonds, as, as part of yes. the Gems. <laughs> yeah, I tried to keep it in with Ori Gems as well. <laughs> I love it. I saw it the other day in the thing. And yeah. I thought, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. Love it. So, I think that's it in the chat. So, I just want to give some shout outs to the entire power team again you know it was a a quiet campaign but everyone done absolutely brilliant honestly i couldn't believe it, it was a, ended up being a really good campaign so well done to you all special well done to the top of our chat so well done to jackie and Stephen for being our top retailer again that are fantastic they're also top retailer year today with all the things to get in i'm so pleased that they got the virgin experience so huge well done for that um i want to say well done to joe for being our top activator with five act Activations this campaign um, with the kids off. I know that it's been manic for her, but she's still done fantastic. So well done. Um, I want to say well done to our top skincare seller, which was Pauline and Gary, who sold four skincare sets again this campaign. Absolutely flying. And with what's coming with the new subscriptions, it's just going to be amazing for them. So I'm so pleased. And then also, we've been recognizing this campaign, our top. Um, um kit seller yeah so startup kit seller which was bev and paul who Woo! sold seven startup kits this campaign so i want to recognize that that last campaign and this campaign just to get everyone ready for people obviously having to pay to join as of campaign 13 so if we all get in the habit of getting people to buy a kit then that's definitely going to help us so i really wanted to recognize that this campaign so well done everybody Oh, it's been awesome well done everybody love listening to the recognition i know we've took us slightly over time there but it's well worth listening to so oh, all superstars and it's lovely to hear team synergy the working together and all of that isn't it that's what this is all about so it's just oh it's been so exciting <laughs> I'm getting all emotional now. It's just like, oh my god, <laughs> we could be in a better position, could we? You know, everybody's sharing, everybody's helping one another. We've got such strong foundations, amazing leaders leading the way. So, you know what? Let's just keep moving, keep motoring, keep building them foundations, keeping our momentum going, keep 
foot on the pedal and let's do this because we've got so much on the way it's just going to be absolutely flipping amazing i will add everyone to this group as well they've done okay yeah, so yeah. um if if i've not added yet send me a message or, or i'll add all the leaders anyway and you can all add your teams and stuff like that so we've got that real that'd be awesome thanks claire for doing all that as well okay so should we call it a night unless anybody's got anything else to add? yes good night good night sweet dreams and see you on wednesday Bye. 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 thank you